Prince Augustine Eweka and wife, Mrs. Esther Eweka, children, some members of the Benin royal family, friends and well-wishers in a joyous mood as they danced to the altar to present their thanksgiving offering to God for the life of the celebrants. In an homily, the officiating priest, Reverend Father Matthew Adejo Shaibu, eulogized the shining leadership examples of Prince Augustine Eweka, pointing out that he has made enormous contributions to the development of society and the church. The time and hour of second July is a testimony the fact that only we still view at the most respected stage of life. Governor Godwin Obaseki, represented by his deputy, Comrade Philip Shaibu, described the contributions of the celebrant to the development of Edo State as invaluable. On his part, Prince Augustine Eweka and wife, Mrs. Esther Eweka, said they were thankful to God for the gift of life. God has protected and saved him all through this period. I wish him a happy, fruitful birthday celebration. Being 17 for me added an additional advantage of experience. So to this, I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to be celebrating with my family and friends. I wish him to get 120, even beyond, in good health and the best of, of, of everything in life. A lavish reception was held for dignitaries at the residence of the celebrant. The man of the moment, Prince Augustine Eweka, flanked by wife and family members, cut his 70th birthday cake and engaged the dance floor. It was a gathering of who is who, where friends and associates paid special tributes to him. The Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, and some guests commented on the success of the ceremony. He's looking 50. Uh, my wish is that he continues to look good like this. It's a happy birthday, and we are wishing him many more years of happy return. More energy for him to live longer and celebrate more years on earth. Amazing, I, I super dad. And we are blessed to have him as a father. Prince Eweka is a quintessential Edo man. God will add more years to his life and more life to his years. Pius Nsogo reporting.